Hey, it's Rick here with a quick update on the Amplify Alien router. Now, if you have watched my videos on this router, you'll know that while I picked it up back in December, I haven't really been able to use it because the mesh capability isn't reliably working for me. Now, as a quick background here, the Amplify Alien router is the newest router in Amplify's lineup. It is a Wi-Fi 6 tri-band router, and while it can be used as just a standalone, you can connect more than one of these together, either wirelessly or with an Ethernet cable, to go into what is called mesh mode. This is used if you're in a dwelling space that maybe is a little bit larger, you've got dead spots in the home, Wi-Fi signal doesn't penetrate through certain walls, and so it diminishes the signal, and it rears its ugly head as lag, buffering, things like that. A mesh system can help. And so what I was running up against is connecting two of these together. That meshed portion would display on screen of the router a red screen that said no internet connection, contact your ISP, and any device that was connected to that router could not get out to the internet. I knew that that was a bug because I'm coming from the Amplify HD system, which worked just fine under those circumstances. So I reached out to Amplify. Uh, it was right in the middle of the holiday season, so I know that companies start to go on holiday, uh, engineering departments go into code freeze and all of these things sorts uh, sort of happen. And so even with that, Amplify's team was super responsive. And that's one of the things that I'll tell you guys. If you ever need help, Amplify is very responsive on chat, on phone, or on their forums, which is where I got my help. And I sent them support files. They did what they needed to do. They found the problem. And here we are in January, and it's now fixed via a firmware update. They didn't tell me what they fixed, but I can decipher from the release notes, and I think I know. There is a comment saying that they fixed an issue where the DNS server stopped responding. And I believe that is what solves this problem. But I am happy to report problem is now fixed. So... Where do we go from here? Well, this isn't the be all end all video. I am going to spend about a week longer with this router to give you a final verdict on it. Uh, I wanna give it ample time, put it through the paces, make sure nothing kind of weird happens and I will come back in about a week's time and do a final video for you. But I'm gonna tell you, it's looking real promising. This is probably one of the better routers, uh, if not the best one that I've had in my home. Um, everything is showing a lot of promise. Wi-Fi 6 devices, which I only have one, it's my iPhone 11 Pro Max, is getting speeds of about 600 megabits, which uh, for me, that is blazing fast. Um, I get a gigabit up and down, so I'm seeing improvements there. Even non-Wi-Fi 6 devices are all staying online, no disconnects, the range is better. I'm not getting buffering on my Apple TV that I got downstairs from time to time. Um, and from a range perspective, again, I can go all the way out to my fence line in the backyard and I'm still pulling about 100 megabits down, which is really, really impressive. I mean, I don't use internet out there, but I guess if I wanted to, I could. And um, I'm still getting a stable connection. So it's looking real good, but stay tuned because I will have a final impressions video with results in about a week's time. Two other things that I'll mention before we wrap it up here today. Uh, I am going to do another video on the Alien Router's touchscreen because that is really impressive to me. Some people might look at it and say, that's a gimmick. It's really not because it's got a lot of data to it that helps you to understand what's going on in your network without having to open up the app. And so I'm going to do a video on that and I'll show you what that looks like and all the features and things like that. And then the last thing I'll mention is since I started doing the Amplify Alien videos, uh, they have released, Amplify has a new package. It is the Amplify Alien router with a mesh point. Now, let me explain because uh, you might look at this and say, well, that looks like a better deal. It comes in at about $699 US and you get one router and one mesh point versus picking up two individual Amplify Alien routers like I have. 
that are going to come in if you picked up two before tax and all that stuff, right around 750, 758 or there for abouts. So you're going to save anywhere between 60 to $85, right? But I personally think you're better off going the route of picking up two routers versus the mesh kit. Here's the reason why. That mesh kit, the second device, the mesh point that it comes with, is not its own separate Amplify Alien router. It is a mesh point, so it cannot be used on its own. It does not have the four gigabit Ethernet ports on the back that the Amplify Alien router has, so you lose out on those. It only has one gigabit Ethernet port, and it does not have the touchscreen either. So, um, yeah, you're going to save anywhere between $60 to $80, but you're going to miss out on four gigabit ports, and you're going to miss out on the touchscreen. And uh, if you ever decide to resell, you can sell these two routers on their own, whereas this you've got to sell as a kit. So that's just my impression of it and kind of my perception. Um, I would probably say save the extra 60 or so and pick up two of the routers on their own. It seems like a better deal to me. So uh, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. Like I say, especially if you want to see something in that final kind of verdict video, if you will, that I'm going to publish in about a week's time or so. I'll be sure to do my best to include answers to those questions in that video. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to be notified when things go live. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.